This is being passed along with the uh, with the uh, with the URL at the top, right? And we can always parse that location, right? That URL at the top using an object that is already available to us uh, through the window window object. Uh, notice if we if we uh, do a um, console console log uh, window the window object, right? And we do a console this. We'll look at inspect. Notice that the window object has tons of, of really cool uh, functionality down here. Uh, in particular, uh, we're going to be looking for, you know, like the history, like the location. The location in particular, notice that it has access to the href. See that? Right? And the href has access to the actual URL that we're, that we're currently in. See that? Notice that it has the href, it has the origin, it has a path name. The, uh, the, the match that we were using earlier it's just a thin wrapper around manipulating that path name. See that, right? We could do that ourselves. Right? We can say we can say uh, window, right? Uh, dot location dot path name, and we look at that path name, right? So let's take a look at that. So we have window dot location dot path name, uh, and indeed we have the path name right there. See that course course editor one two three. See that, right? So what we could do is just store it in a local variable. Right, const path name for convenience, and, and then we can split it. We know that there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, slashes in between, and we can we can split it. We can say split on the slash, okay? and we can say that this is a const paths, and we can print that out. See what that looks like. Uh, notice that it's an array, right? It's an array of of elements of which the last one. See, it's the ID. Right, we can grab the ID from there uh, and to say that the that the const course ID, uh, const the course ID is equal to the uh, paths, the last element, which is uh, number two, I believe. And so we can then print the course ID here. There it is, one, two, three, uh, or you know, two, three, four. Uh, uh oh. Oh, it's hard coded. <laughs> course ID would be here, right? Course ID and course ID. There we go. Uh, right, excellent. So now if it's three, four, five, or if I change this two, three, four, there it is. It changes with the with the with the data that I pass in. Make sense, right? Uh, so yeah, that's an alternative way of, of using a match instead. Now let's uh let's now. Uh, um, Continue and see that uh, you know, we are able to load the particular course for that particular course ID right, using this finder method, and then see if we can we can iterate and, and, and display different modules, display different topics, you know, and pass along some information about these things. All right, let's do that next.